Welcome back, you bloody legends. It's Aussie Gamer 17 here with another edition of Achievement College, my step by step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is part number four of my 100% walkthrough for Creatures of Ava. For those new to the channel, when I say walkthrough, I mean I have practiced the game and I know what I'm doing and am taking you through how to get all of the achievements. In saying that, I, even though I have practiced and everything, I did make a little mistake in the last video. Now, I did think about um, re-recording the whole last video, but it's a big one. It's an hour long video and it's really gonna take us about two minutes of extra gameplay to fix my mistake. So we're gonna go do that straight away off the bat here. Some of you may have already noticed it if you've played, you probably saw my mistake if you've played part three already. Um, so what we needed to do, and I did go to this, I went to Tabitha here and I was like, aren't I meant to pick up a tablet? And what it was, if we go into our map and you go into your objectives and you go to the human hideaway side quest, it says to pick up the PDA right here. I had in my notes, pick up the tablet at Tabitha. And I came to Tabitha and I was like, what tablet? Didn't actually see it sitting right here. Even though I had picked it up before, I just forgot. Because um, I'm trying to do so many things at the moment. Behind a waterfall? Hmm. I was still finishing my um, Callisto Protocol walkthrough when I was recording the last episode of this. I've also started Flintlock. Anyway, enough talk about all that. So that's what happened. Um, just while I'm here, I'm going to uh, sort a few things out in our inventory as well. And then I'll explain how we're fixing my mistake. Uh, I just want to move. I want to move this down to oops oh, come on game move this down here put that there i think we've got this one as well we've just got too many heels put those over there put those over there and then anything with 30 i can just move to our, to our storage anything with 30 in fact i can move even the ones with more oh no i'll leave them all right, that'll do for now. Okay, so we picked up the PDA and it means we have to go look behind the waterfall. We did go behind the waterfall in the last episode, but we're going to go back to it. So head north. You can see the waterfall in the background. We're heading to that waterfall. And when we were in the waterfall in the last video, we couldn't pick up the objective item because we didn't have this quest at the right stage. So we're just, it's only going to take about two minutes to go down to this waterfall, get what we need to get, and then get back. So rather than record the whole other part. Some of you may have already done this as part of the last video and picked up on my mistake. Some of you may be doing it now, but um, apologies guys. I know I, I have a saying on this channel, stick with Aussie and he won't let you down. I guess a tiny, kind of let you down a little bit, but not really because we are fixing it. And we're so you've got to come and pick up that, this ID badge. ID badge. So this is the face my ID has been looking for. That's right. Um, yeah, so I'm still getting you all the achievements. Post a comment. Did I let you down? I hope not. I hope not. But we're going to be okay. Okay, so we've got that. And now we're going to go back and talk to the guy on the bridge, Vaiti, however you want to say it. And that will be that side quest done. Uh, where's the best way into town? Go this way. Still grabbing plants when we see them. I kind of went the wrong way here, didn't I? Uh, that's okay. Go through here. Nearly there. And probably added a little bit more than the two minutes. But with all my uh, talking and explaining and stuff like that. I timed it off camera. Uh, where's the bridge? Up there. I timed it off camera, but that was without... That was just running straight there and straight back. Without uh, going the wrong way and without explaining everything. Alright, go to Vaidi. Get through his dialogue. Alright, now the next thing we've got to do is go talk to the Chief Honlo for part of the main mission. Talk to Chief Honlo, and then we've got a couple of other little side quests to pick up. So just get through his dialogue. God, he's a, he's a chatty guy today. 
The next objective from him will be coming up, talk to the guard. All right, we're going to do that shortly, but first we're going to talk to Obon. She's got a couple of things for us to do. <laughs> Obon wants us to go and steal, in uh, air quotations, a helmet from Vaiti. Now, no matter what you do, even if you try and sneak, he will see you grab this helmet. So we're going to come over here and take the helmet. He'll catch us doing it, but let's just have it anyway. And then we go back to Obon. I keep trying to double jump because the uh, other game I'm playing, Flintlock, has a similar character, actually, and you can double jump. Anyway, talk to Obon. If you haven't checked that series out, please do. It's not a it's not a walkthrough, it's a playthrough, but I'm still getting 100%. Really cool game, too. I recommend it. All right, so now Obon wants us to take a photo. Take the photo. You can press Y to replace, or you can save it in the gallery, or you can just press B. It doesn't matter. As long as you take the photo, the game, the game continues on, regardless of what you've done there. Um, okay, just checking what's next. Photo, talk to Obon. All right, now we go to the waypoint. Both Obon's waypoint and... Actually, we'll check the map. And the main mission waypoint are both here. One there and one there. So we're going to head down there. To, to, to get there, I'm going to fast travel here. I didn't really show that clearly on the map where we fast. We fast travel to the Anta Dunes sibling tree. And then we turn right or towards sort of the northeast. And we go up this path here. And just head towards the waypoints. Either one's fine. And once we get up here, we're going to photograph this new NPC. We just got XP for discovering a new area. And we're going to talk to this guy for Obon's side quest. So that's part of Obon's side quest. Then we go up the ladder and we photograph this new NPC. Oh, geez. Don't fall. And we talk to him as part of the main, main um, quest line. Okay, once we've done that, he opens this gate and we can go through. And let me just check. And now we're going to go do, do some curing finally. So head over here. We've got to cure these guys. Hey. Oh, come on. I dodged that. Got them both. All right, two there, and then we should be able to go through here and find three more. Miss me. Oh, don't forget you've got to use Crist on the yellow ones. Camera's not really doing it for me. All right, come on. I can't move the camera when I'm holding the X button. That's annoying. All right, so three more cures here. Uh, and then we need to tame them so that we can connect with an Ura. Once you've got the Ura, go up the north set of stairs. And around the back and do a charge to break through here. Easy peasy. And then you can disconnect and stop the flute. And we need to run up there and do some withering. Or get rid of some withering, I guess I should call it. Okay, hit that. What's in there, actually? I don't remember what's in here. Not much. Okay. And then turn around and get the other withering up the top. And then one more lot of withering over here on the right. Oh, sorry. you got to open this door. So press RB to do the lift. If you've got the button set up the same as me. Jump inside. Climb up. And then get rid of the withering on the other side. We're going to drop inside. We're going to head over to the right. And just lower this zip line in case we need to use it to get up here another time.
We're going to open up this door here. Going to see a uh, wind chime and photograph the wind chime. That should be wind chime number eight. Let's just check our map, make sure it counts. That is all of the wind chimes in the grasslands. We've still got three upgrades, five Antara statues to go. Okay. Um, go on the other side. I want to lower the zip line over here as well. Actually, let's get one of the statues while we're over here. So we're going to lower this. And then we're going to go and jump across here. Uh, you might see a little edit there, guys. I forgot that I can't double jump and totally messed up that jump and had to go back around. So if you do fall, you just have to go back up the stairs, back around and come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did that. All right, investigate Antara statue number three. And then we're going to go the same way back. No double jump holes. No double jump. Okay, good. Atta boy. All right, and then we're going to get rid of this withering here. Inside here, we've got to raise this platform and then quickly get the health kit that's underneath it. Now we've got a new uh, overall health increase, I should say. All right, we can pick up these now too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. After we've got the health kit, we want to get rid of this Christ. Or use Christ. I don't know how to say it. You know what I mean. All right, in here, we're going to cure another three creatures. There they are. No, where are they? There they are. Oh, use Chris on the yellow one. Oh yeah, you want to charge at me? No deal. Ah, oh, miss me. And that should be everyone. Alright. Connect with the Ura again. And do a little chargey chargey. And what am I doing? Uh, cancel that for a second. And make sure you get rid of both of these. So cure the Christ or use the Christ. Okay, we'll be going up there soon. But first, let's lure all of these guys back to the bot. Let's do some rescuing. So there should be eight creatures in total. We've just cured all eight. Uh, where were the... Uh, let's just get rid of these three. And then head down here. There should be three here and then two just outside. So make sure you grab these two. Head back up. Everything should be fine to um, rescue these. You don't need to wait for anything else. Oh, we've lost two. Damn it. Did the two from outside not come? They got stuck. I should have checked. I made sure I just did a very recent practice run of this whole video, guys. and it Because uh, I don't want any mistakes like happened in part three. Anyway, there's another five. We're doing a good job. Bot should disappear. Alright, let's go do this part of the main quest line. We need to get go back all up all the stairs. We're going to find the cog stone fragment. This is where we remove the two lots of Christ. Up the stairs. There should be another zip line here. We want to lower that just in case we ever need to come back up here, which I doubt that we do. Raise the little door, go inside, and pick up the fragment. Found it. The final fragment of Cogstone. I have everything Neymar needs to activate the podium. Alright, so we're going to go to our map. Actually, let's go to the Avipedia and just check. We've got 100, 100. The only one we need is the Hoo-Hoo. We need to cure two more. Does that happen in this video? I think it does. I think it does, guys. I think it does. All right. Uh, oh, go to the map. And we need to go back to Nima. So we're going to fast travel to the LF Prime Grasslands base. 
head into town and into the tower. Past Tabitha up to Nima. Have a chat to him. Hmm. Get through the cutscene. And then we're going to go and uh, if the grasslands finish that side quest by speaking to Obon, where we good. spoke to that um, guard for her. So we're going to just sign that one off as well. Uh, why is there a question mark there? That's not in my notes either, is it? Oh yeah, it should be. Um, let me just double check my notes. Um, or did I miss that before? I think I did. All right, make sure you speak to Fayed. Fenty. He's giving us a side quest that sort of goes for the rest of the game, guys. This one and the flower one is going to be the last two side quests we probably complete. He wants a photo of a Kraj. He wants a photo of a particular animal from each uh, map of the game. This is the first one, and we've already got the photo, obviously. So we give that to him. And then if you check your map, he's now we've now got the Sculptor's Mastery side quest. We need a photo of a Zard, a Shum, and an Asher from each of the other areas that we're going to travel to. And obviously we need all the plants from each of the areas as well. Um, now there was another side quest over here that we need to pick up. Uh, no, is there? Let me just check my map. Maybe I should have checked my notes. No, we're good. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, yep. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now, before we go and sort of, when we go to speak to Nima at the Jungle Gate, we'll be going to the new area and we won't be coming back to the to the grasslands for a while. Before we do that, we know if we look at the Avipedia, as we just checked before, we still haven't finished the hoo-hoos. The hoo-hoos. So go to your map and if you look at this over here, there's two hoo-hoos over there and they both need curing. So we're going to go do that. We're going to do that by first fast traveling to the grasslands base again. Hop down, head north first so that we can get to that path. And we're gonna go past down here. Earlier in the game, in the last video, we saw this crist over here before we had the power to get rid of it. So we're gonna go do that now. Open this pathway up. All right, cure these guys. Oh, come on. Ow. <laughs> Who's copying who? All right, let's get him. Let's get him. That should be the other. That's so. That's the two, the two hoo hoos. Oh come on, mate! One more cure. Where are you? Stop moving. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna pop them all. We have to come down this way to get these bottom two. Where are they? Alright, and then we're going to just rescue them all. Unless you need, if you need them to do any digs to cross your checklist, make sure you do that first. But otherwise, we're going to rescue them all. Very simple little one, this one. And then we're going to get that. And we didn't come here just to rescue the uh, creatures. There is also another statue to get up this way. So go through the cave, out the way 
the opposite way to where we came in and you'll find that we can climb up over here grab some plants don't really need these anymore uh, we'll get that one when we come back down so you'll find on the right hand side as you come in an area that we can climb up here oh yeah let's check the avapedia make sure you've now got 100 100 100 100 100 percent that's all the grasslands creatures completed climb up and just follow the only way to go lots of climbing and platforming to do here would help if we had a double jump wouldn't it and climb all the way to the top and interact with statue number four huh. let's check our map and make sure we've all got Seven of nine upgrades, four of seven Antara statues and everything else clear. And then from here, we're going to go activate this zip line and go down. Now you could just fast travel back if you wanted to, back to, to, to base, but I just want to activate these zip lines. That's that one there and down this ramp, activate this other one. And grab some plants while we're here. That's a poison antidote. I don't want that. There we go. Once you've activated those, may as well go to the map. And we're going to fast travel here and we're going to head to the jungle gate. So back in base, climb to the top of the tower. We've got to go across the east bridge again. We've been to the jungle gate before. We had to take a photo of it. And then I... I'd already been there once before that, hadn't I? I stuffed that up as well. Well, even with all the practice and stuff I do, it's still possible to just, just sort of have a little bit of backtracking every now and then. Oh! Oh my god, I nearly fell. <laughs> nearly had to do another edit. Too much of a hurry, aren't I? Alright, I'm going to be careful here because I've, I have fallen off this before. I think it just put me straight back up though, so it didn't really do any harm. Alright. Cross the East Bridge and go speak with Nima. And we get a little cutscene, I think. Uh-huh. Hang on. Oh, I just pressed the B button. All right, hold, skip. Skip. B button doesn't help. Oh, I must have just fluked it with the B button. All right, here we are in the jungle. Make sure you do make sure you do a manual save here guys you want to keep a new manual save here and i'll explain why at the start of the very next video because that's the end of this one i want to thank you all very much for watching hope you're enjoying the series if you are don't forget to give us a thumbs up and post a comment uh, like i've said before these um, types of guides do take a long time to make guys not too many of them out there. In fact, I can't find a guide like this out there for this game and many of the other games I cover. So if you do want to help me, help support me make more guides like this, please consider pressing that join button here on YouTube and becoming a member or heading over to my Patreon um, and becoming a member of Aussie's Army for just $1 on Patreon. That's all it costs. There are links in the video description. There's the bell. You know what that means. Class dismissed.